Go Antares, go Cygnus. Four, four, three, three, two, two one. one. Come on. We have ignition. We have liftoff. And we have liftoff of Antares beginning the journey of the G. David Lowe Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station. Nominal. All systems behaving well at this point as Antares leaves the uh, Mars pad. Zero A is the wall of the flight facility. Propulsion systems on stage one performing well at this point. Attitude is nominal. Very minimal steering commands at this point in the mission. Antares is making its second flight. On this, uh, on this mission, we're sending Cygnus on its first journey of many to the International Space Station. Looks like they fixed the rocket cam and up. Looks like. Beautiful view. Propulsion, avionics, uh, guidance and steering systems are all behaving well at this point. We're getting uh, good downrange video. Very clear day to, uh, to fly out. One minute, 10 seconds since launch. Uh, nice, nice views of the uh, eastern shore as uh, we depart pad zero A. Engines are 108, 100% power now, so we're made at 100% power level until uh, approximately four minutes into the mission. As Mike Dorsch reported there, the first stage will fire for approximately four minutes, propelling the launch vehicle to an altitude of approximately 113 kilometers or 70 miles. Three pressurization valves come on on the core now. BNG3 and the fuel tank pressurization system is now on as well as expected. Attitude, power, uh, main engine and steering systems all appear nominal at this point. Two minutes into the flight. Very, uh, very minimal steering commands at this point in the mission. Core pressures remain strong. Power buses look healthy. Engines remain uh, remain nominal at 100% power level. Attitude looks good. Again, very little steering uh, observed in the thrust vector control system on stage one. Core pressurization systems are uh, performing well at this point as we're uh, past uh, T plus two minutes, 30 seconds. TBC is... Uh, TVC is nominal, again, with very small steering commands at this point. Approaching three minutes into the flight, the stage one uh, uh, throttling should begin about uh, three minutes, 24 seconds uh, after launch. It's a clear day, a great shot of Antares traveling downrange. Engines remain at 100%. Mixture ratio targets are uh, very close to nominal at this point. Uh, valves VNO4, 5, and 6 in the LOX tank pressurization system have come on. Core pressures uh, remain healthy at this point. Altitude passing 250,000 feet. 50 miles in altitude now, traveling about uh, 7,200 miles per hour. Remain nominal. Stage one engine shutdown should occur at three minutes, 53 seconds. The engines outboard in preparation for the main engine cutoff event. That'll happen uh, close to uh, T plus four minutes. Miko in roughly 10 seconds. At Miko, uh, the vehicle be traveling 10,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 66 statute miles. Separation. There we see what appears to be a very nominal separation of the first stage. Beautiful separation there. It's a uh, very, uh, very clean separation between the upper stack and stage one. Stage one is uh, drifting, uh, drifting nicely away from the vehicle at this point. Five's got good track. The uh, the first of the upper stack attitude control systems uh, has been enabled. We're now uh, coasting uh, in a ballistic phase of the mission uh, until we've reached the proper conditions for uh, fairing separation and then stage two ignition. Four minutes, 35 seconds uh, into the flight. Interstage uh, separation should occur about five and a half minutes into the mission.